We are back in our Builder Source kitchen with Chef Eric Hall. And Chef Eric Hall is making this kitchen smell unbelievable. And you serve up an authentic and elegant dining experience at La Posada de Santa Fe Resort and Spa. And in our last half hour, we talked a little bit about the history of the resort, but one of the best amenities is certainly going to be, of course, the culinary experience, which you can speak to better than Absolutely. anybody. Well, first of all, welcome. Great to have Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to be here. And tell us a little bit about why this is an award-winning, world-class restaurant. You know, we cover a lot of different facets. We've got our Stop House Lounge, which is a very cozy, uh, very nice atmosphere lounge. Oh, nice. Serves up some excellent drinks. Then we have our patio, which is going to be open until October 15th. Okay. And we also have Fuego Restaurant, What's which that? contemporary American with a little bit of a Santa Fe flair to it. Ooh. Myself not being a New Mexican native, I'm getting used to all the chilies. Me too, and just, I'm loving it. Just got done with the wine and chili fiesta, and I uh, featured one of my signature dishes, which is, which is? Uh, I did a red chili braised veal cheek, but on the menu you'll find a red chili braised short rib. Oh. Oh, with I garlic mashed that. potatoes and cumin carrots, and it's delicious. And if I come in, you'll make that for me? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Amongst other things. Okay, well, what are you doing today? So today we're going to make good. a little bit of uh, fresh soup from the farmer's market. Mm. Uh, I work closely with Romero Farms, and Matt was gracious enough to pick out some beautiful products for me. Beautiful. So we're going to be featuring a bull's horn red pepper and our fingerling potatoes. Now, we've got a couple of different colors here. You can find these at the store, you can? maybe a mixed bag. And I like to use the white potatoes for the soup and then the purple potatoes for the garnish. I have, honestly, I've never seen purple potatoes. I'm so excited about this. It's my favorite Excellent. color. Excellent. Well, let's get started. Yeah, please do. So, we got a couple ingredients in here. The main ones are the peppers, the okay. potatoes, and the pine nuts. Oh, I love pine so nuts. So, we're going to start with some roasted garlic. Mm. Um, a lot of people are a little bit afraid of garlic. If you leave it whole and you roast it whole, yes. it's a lot more subtle. Really? And you get a lot of flavor out of it. I so, all we're going to do is we're going to take the whole clove, okay. cut it in half, Put it face down in the pan. That's it? We're going to put that at medium heat and just let it go for a little while. It works best if you kind of pull it off the heat a little bit. Okay. And it goes nice and slow. Now, while we've been out there, have you been doing anything to prep ahead of time that anybody should know about? Um, I got a little stuff going. I roasted our peppers off, just like okay. you see out in front of the grocery store. Um, okay. You know, I chose to do a sweet pepper mm. because at this time of year, we've got all the green chilies. Yes. And they do roast the sweet peppers as well, but I think it's good not to forget them, and it just fills your house with so much smell. It's Definitely. wonderful. Oh, I love it. So... After we have this, we're going to take some green onions. These are actually mystery onions. They forgot what they were when they planted them, but that's half the fun at the I farmer's market. That. So we're going to get those in there, get those cooking. Okay. We're going to let those cook down quite a bit. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, those are going to get nice and caramelized. We want to cook out that strong flavor and bring out those sugars. Mm -hmm. So while that's going on, we're going to take our potatoes, which I've cooked already. Oh, good. And we're going to add some milk. Um, to the potatoes, okay. Yes, in the restaurant, we like to use maybe a little heavy cream or half and half. Okay. At home, I find it's a lot easier just to cook with the milk. You always have it around. You don't have Good to make point. a special trip. Good idea. So, we're going to bring this up, and then if we use a little magic of television. <laughs> yes. I love that you know about the magic of television. You we are going that. to... Hey, hey. Sorry about that. We're going to take some garlic that I've already roasted, and after it's roasted, you just squeeze it right in there. Oh, my gosh. And the... You make this look so easy, Eric. Garlic just shoots right out. Really? It's, that, it's, yep. really, it's really that easy? That's that easy. Oh my gosh. I never thought to do that. I spent, you know how much time I spend peeling the garlic, chopping the garlic? I waste too much time. Yeah. Now we've got anymore. some toasted pinion here. We're going to put about half in the soup. Okay. Oh, yummy. We're going to take our roasted bull's horn chilies, and then any sweet pepper will work for this. Okay. Um, these are just picked at the peak of season, so they've got a lot of flavor to them. Gosh. So we're going to put those in there. This is ideal. Then, I really like to cook with jalapenos and serranos and green chili yes. um, in place of black pepper a lot of the time. I find that that gives the New Mexican flavor that we're looking for. Definitely. And if you like a lot of spice, go ahead and put a whole one in there. Okay. But if you don't like it, just use a half. Okay. And again, just like the garlic, if we roast that, it takes a lot of that intensity out of it. So if you don't like the jalapeno too much, you know, try roasting it up and see how that works for you. Great. Perfect. So... We are going to act like these are nice and caramelized. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to just add those right in there. So generally, how long? I mean, if you were doing this in real time, how long? I would long do this for about 25 minutes. 25 minutes? Nice, okay. medium, low heat, stirring frequently. Okay. And, uh, you know, salt and pepper. We'll go ahead and get some in here. From start to finish, if somebody wants to make this at home tonight for dinner, how much time would you tell them to give themselves? I'd say about 40 to 45 minutes, okay. but it's not an intensive 45 minutes. You okay. Can, you can watch the kids or watch the little Casa Fox while you're <laughs> yeah. going. Watch a little TMZ. That's perfect. Excellent. So we're also <laughs> going to do a little chopped parsley. 
Now we want to release the flavor by chopping it, but this is going to get blended up, so we don't have to go too far down. And if you really wanted to, you could just throw it in there whole. Okay, you do that so well. That's why you're the chef and I'm not. So we're going to give that a little stir. And we would let this simmer for about 30 minutes. I, I, I take that back. Maybe it'll take more like an hour, hour and a half. Okay. A good soup takes a lot of simmering, brings out all the flavors. Sure. If you need it in a hurry, you could go ahead and do it, but this will turn out best if you let it simmer for about give 20 yourself, or 30 minutes. So give yourself a little over an hour. That's good. Yeah. That's good advice. So. Wow, all my favorite ingredients in one place. I can't take it. We will put that off to the side. And then we're going to move on to what we would call the garnish. Okay. And I like to do a lot of pureed soups because it brings out the flavor. Yes. But what I always do is I'll take half of my ingredients that I sauteed, I'll pull them out. Okay. And then I will add them into the soup so that you get a little bit sense. of chunks. Oh, I love that. Here comes the purple potatoes. So we're going to put a little potatoes in there. And while you're doing that, I just want to mention that La Posada de Santa Fe Resort and Spa is a proud member of the New Mexico Restaurant Association and let all of our viewers know where they can locate you as well so that they can head on out and get your masterful cooking as well. You can go, of course, to 330 East Palace Avenue in Santa Fe and you can make reservations at 866-331-ROCK7625 and you can also go to the website as well. Now, as we go to break, tell us what we're going to do real quick. We're going to put a little bit more of the onions in here okay. and then pretty much we would have pureed the soup. Okay. And we want to be very careful, let that cool down a little bit so you don't burn yourself. Okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and put everything together in the bowl. And then we get to eat it. Absolutely. That's the best part. And for today's recipe, you can log on to our website. Recipe, I said that like a French person. You can log on to our website at casa.com. We'll, we'll be right back. The smells are intoxicating me. We have just witnessed Culinary Genius with Eric Hall. Thank you so much, Chef Eric Hall. You're very welcome. You are amazing at what you're doing. Tell us real quick what you did on the break. So we just went ahead and ladled some soup into the bowl. I've got some basil chiffonading right now. That's a very fine chop. I love that. Brings out all the flavor. You want to do that last minute so you okay. get all that flavor. Yes. Then in here we have some of our onions, our potatoes, a little bit more salt. Oh, delish. Some pepper. And while you finish that up and get us ready to taste it, we want to thank all of today's guests for being with us. Of course, it was a wonderful show. We got a lot of good information. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have some good weather today. Yeah, so it'll be good. It'll be nice. Yeah. Wednesday. And don't forget to catch us tomorrow morning right here on Two Costa Fox at 8 a.m. And if there's anything you need to know about today's show, you can always log on to our website at casa.com. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do a little of our pine nuts, a little bit of chopped pepper. Oh, my gosh. And some of our fresh basil. Beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. Yay. Thank you. Okay, nice. now I'm going to really thank you. We're going to taste, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. We've got our little baby spoons today. I'm so mm. excited. <laughs> Maybe you should grab it so we don't Yum. spill. Yeah, we wouldn't want anyone oh to get burnt. Eric, this looks amazing. I don't even, I want everything in the soup. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is, that is so awesome. good. It's really good. <gasps> that is awesome. So Love if you guys it. want to try this, we're going to be putting this on our new menu coming up here mm. in the next couple of weeks. And uh, Mr. Romero has promised we'll have potatoes all winter long. Woo! Oh. Mm. oh, thank you. You're thank welcome. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, have a good morning. Mm. I'm going to mm. hog the pinoli nuts. This is so good. These pine nuts, how good mm -hmm. are they? Mm-hmm. Mm.